Hello, TED Universe. My name is Joshua Storgel. I'm the very first junior chief meteorologist here at Mays High School. But no, I'm not here to bring you a weather forecast. We'll say that for my next TED Talk. I'm here to do something much more profound than that. I want you to imagine yourself living in a world where tornadoes, hurricanes, forest fires, glaciers melting, and things of that sort of terrible proportions happen on the daily. Where you can't go outside without a protective gear or a suit. Where blizzards ravage horribly. These things are happening currently in people's lives. In California, the combustion rate is a seven on a scale of zero to ten meaning they'd have two branches on a tree would rub together, start a forest fire, just like that. In Puerto Rico, the Caribbean islands, Houston, India, off the coast of Australia, five category five hurricanes have and are right now destroying their lands, killing millions of people, taking lives. Blizzards, freezing lands, fires burning. These things are happening right now. I remember when I was a young boy, by the age of five years old, Hurricane Katrina had just ran rapid through New Orleans. I was living here in Atlanta. And my neighbor allowed her cousins to come and live with her. I was a child, five years old, and I learned what they dealt with. They told me the stories of one day it started raining, then the winds picked up, then the storms came and a hurricane ran rapid through their town, destroying everything. They had to run for their lives. I was terrified for it to rain in my own city. I was terrified to hear the thunder roar. I was scared for the wind to blow. I didn't want anything like what they told me to happen to anyone I knew, anyone in this world, period. Global warming is the apocalypse. Global warming is the phenomenon of CO2 gas, carbon dioxide, being pumped into the atmosphere, where it stays there, and acts as a blanket for the radioactive sunlight to come into our atmosphere, and the sunlight to stay there, causing currents to become warmer. And when they mix with colder currents, they create storms, like hurricanes and blizzards. And these things come down to Earth and kill millions of people devastate lives, and displace families. Look at the world 30 years ago. The innovation on technology has jumped dramatically. From phones that didn't have cameras, to internet, to cars that didn't have computers driving them, no GPS. Think about where we are now. Currently, there are te tests being done that allow cars to drive themselves by computers. Think about where we'll be 30 years from now. Not only technology-wise, but atmospherically. All types of displacement, displacing weathers are happening, happening now. It snowed in Mexico, a very tropical place. It has snowed in Houston, something that hasn't happened in the last 40 years. These things are happening not because 
of climate change, but global warming being the apocalypse. But we can change things. From the instance of us taking a step back and reducing our own carbon footprint by going green. Stop cutting down trees. Trees take in CO2 gas and give out clean oxygen that purifies our atmosphere. But the lumber industries continue to hold us back for the next industrial revolution. We don't need paper anymore. We don't need pencils. We have the technology that can move us forward. We no longer need cars run on gas that pumps these terrible things into our atmosphere. We have electric cars. We have solar-powered cars. We have alternatives, but the industries have their grip on the money so tight that they are willing to risk the losing of millions of lives. How would you feel if one of these devastating storms were to happen to your family? you in your life. Because the most scientists would say global warming will affect us thousands of years from now. Global warming is affecting us right now. Global warming is the apocalypse. But it does not have to end there. We can change things. As I look at this model here, our world is situated inside of a protective layer called the ozone. But as you see, there are holes inside of this layer, numerous, allowing the terrible radiation to get inside of our atmospheres and cause these terrible storms. When you go outside now, you can feel the sun on your skin. With, even with sunscreen. Think about when this big hole is dissipated to nothing at all. We won't be able to go outside at all. Why would we continuously support industries and use things that are tearing holes into our protective layer from the sun? Ask yourself that question. And here's what you can do about it. We can provide gases. We can provide services. We can take a step back and protect that which protects us. Global warming is the apocalypse. But we don't need Christ to come down and save us from it. We can do that on our own. Thank you.